They try about the critics again. You know, he just can never just stop, okay? You know, to complain that Joker's gonna get many nominations. CBR specifically. This is never ends with these guys, okay? First, you know, they they complain that Joker's caused all this violence that never happened. Now they complain and they try to tank the movies of you or to make Joker even more powerful, okay? You know, at the box office, passing Aladdin's worldwide box office. Now we're having this Joker to serve his Golden Globe nominations. So basically, here, um, Joker received four nominations for the Golden Globes to compare with any other comic book movies. Twice as nominations proceed by Black Panther, Deadpool, and it's four times as many as a Dark Knight, a single nomination for Heath Ledger. Compared to all the other great films released this year, there's Todd Phillips. Squirrel and Crow controversy, you, you guys started the controversy. I'm just telling you that, you guys started the whole controversy. There was no real controversy, okay? No real violence happened, okay? No real actual bad things happened because of this movie. Deserve its nominations, let's go be through the different categories, Joker, from the most deserving to least, to, to least. So, Joker, one guy, nominated who hated Joker, could probably agree on it. Yeah, it's the performance by Phoenix, obviously. If he doesn't get nominated for Best Actor, they, they have to have like a few screws loose or something, you know, not nominate Joker. They must really hate DC that much if they really want, don't want Joker to be nominated for anything you know, for Best Actor. Next is Best Original School. We can't complain about his, that nomination for the Dark and Haunting Scores of Wild West Third over 1913. But it's one of the most memorable scores and then Best Picture Drama. We were predicting this nomination, but it's not exactly one to get excited about, because Joker is one of the you know, and it's just a case of pay before it's over and movie where pretentious and sour, not having much more to say in this various social issues, we gives rip service to we with the society meme, it's irritated that Martin Secret's films feel sour when sold up against actual Secret's film, being against the Iris Man, and a showcase when actors go crazy, it's less entertaining as a White House with the Gold Wolves Computer Store. That's another movie. Yeah, they still have not ignored that we were best director. You know. Yeah. But they seriously don't want to complain that Joker it doesn't deserve its awards. You know, Todd Phillips being nominated for best director. You know, it's the biggest joke of all. You know, attempts to press to make the movie. We've seen more dangerous than it actually worked. No acceptable work. Really? No acceptable work? It has, it has the highest score of any movie this year by fans. Well, of course, the critics say, but the fans don't matter. You know, it's trying to tell us that the fans don't matter or anything. But, you know, on IMDb, it has an, like an 8.6. It's the only other movie that has a similar score as Parasite that came out this year. Okay. Endgame has like an 8.3 or something. Marriage Story has an 8.4. And the Iris Man has an 8.3. So, Joker is already ahead of all movies. Already. And on Metacritic, it's a 9.2. It's basically almost the same as The Dark Knight. Okay. I gotta see the comments here. So the answer, I must leave it here. <laughs> yes, all. Oh, it deserves all. Yeah, that's what I mean. It, deserve, it does deserve all of its nomination. Okay. These critics just do not like this movie. It's just how how they look. Okay. If we about Angel got nominated more than one award, they were freaked out as well. They hate a read about Angel. They hate, you know, any movie people like. They hate the fan. They hate. They only care about the global. I know that. I know that, that. Okay. They only care about the boring, you know, dramas that nobody watches by the end of the year. The boring movies that they come out with that, you know, for a nice audience, you know, the awful movies that, you know, are for these audience. So, of course, only a nice audience is going to watch them, you know, these movies like The Shape of Water movie, you know. Or movies like Green, or you know, woke movies like Green Book or Black Panther. Okay, that's a woke movie. That was a massive blockbuster, but they really didn't. But Black Panther didn't really deserve Best Picture nomination at all. Okay, it's not even the best Marvel movie. Okay, you know, they didn't, they didn't nominate Civil War. Oh, Guys of the Galaxy was a and Infinity War was a clearly the best Marvel movie. Spent way better than Black Panther. Same thing with how they didn't nominate the Dark Knight for anything other than probably like best visuals or you know that's the only things where blockbusters can really win is best costume design, best visuals. Okay, because they're always gonna nominate the same five dramas over and over and over again. There's no actual variety in these awards. Okay, you know, <laughs> you know, and the funny and the funny thing is the bombshell movie that started nominating that for awards. 
that movie has a high, low, high has the same amount, around the same score as Alita. So you guys, you critics, just you know, do not understand film, okay? If it was the audience poll, you know, Alita about into Joker and Parasite would probably be in the top ten. Not you know these movies that you try to pop up like you know, you know all these movies. I'm not gonna mention all of them because it's too long, but and that's basically it. So the and media is just now complaining that Joker is has nominated for. Golden Globes. This is completely ridiculous. But then they complain. Oh, why are you complaining about Black Panther? Why are you complaining about Black Panther? Okay. <laughs> because that movie got undeservedly nominated for all these pictures just because we you know, and it, was, it had a political message. Okay. You know, it had a great political message. Okay. You know, nobody cares about the political message besides SAWs or Black Panther. Okay. It's about you know monarchies. Okay. I thought you know people don't like monarchies, but apparently according to because Black Panther is really about monarchy is, you know, good and how, you know, black, you know, how Wakanda is like, you know, Saudi Arabia, that's like the best comparison to Wakanda is Saudi Arabia in terms of real life countries, you know, ha as a monarchy, you know, it's pretty strict on immigration, you know, all that stuff. And that's basically the best comparison for Wakanda right there. Or Swaziland, another country that's pretty similar to Wakanda. But unlike, you know, but in Saudi Arabia has like a lot of, you know, Cities, you know, technology and stuff. Okay, so as you had another country in Africa that has that has a king, but they actually changed the name to Eswatini, which you know sounds like an email, <laughs> you know, at Swatini. That's what it sounds like, you know. But the critics, of course, complain about Joker because they don't like it. They can't. They, they they hate that movie. Okay, they hate everything that we like. We don't know how it is, and that's basically it. Goodbye, Julio. This time.